sunshine. But yeah, I keep humming to myself. I'm just feeling really happy. Oh, I usually feel miserable. I don't know why I've got to explain myself like that all the time. Anyway, good day to you. I said last week I wasn't going to use that because it sounded awkward, but we're going to use it anyway because I am a bit late starting this vlog this week. I have had a right hoo-ha of trying to do the last week's vlog. So I spent all of Wednesday evening, finished the editing, started to upload, ready to try and get it back up on YouTube for 8pm and right at the last moment it failed and then everything got deleted again even from the editor that I use in fact I think it came from the editor I use because YouTube just didn't recognize it so it's like a corrupt file and um yeah so I went back to the editor and it just I don't know what's wrong with it I'm just not technically minded <clears throat> so I was feeling really slumped after that I thought I've just I just can't be bothered because <laughs> it's like the second time it's happened but anyway I think I might know what caused it I think it might have been I filmed a little bit on my phone and I don't think it I don't think it carried over properly I don't know I mean if you're technically minded you probably know <clears throat> but so I'm having to do the video again and I was very nearly about I I very nearly gave up but I've decided to do it again and just get it up late. It's still be in the same week. And, uh, yeah, I would say I learned from my mistakes, but I don't know what mistake I've made yet. So, let's see how next week's one happens. So today, I have been really busy sorting out my moment safety first Good. so today I've been really busy sorting out my little cottage I don't think I've really mentioned my cottage that I live in yet I live in um, North Cornwall in a 200 to 300 year old cottage I'm not exactly sure the age the estate agent said a minimum is 200 and come and with older buildings they're very they come with their quirks <laughs> which I love I, I don't think I don't know if I would go back to living in a more, more newer house but the trouble is it comes with the quirks but it also comes with like really uneven surfaces uneven walls uneven floor <laughs> so trying to uh, you know have a modern home in an old house has its challenges so I've been spending the last couple of days actually trying to work out how to fit all of our furniture in the way I've had my house recently when I first moved in was okay when it was just my things but then I've now acquired Matt's belongings <laughs> it's fish tanks and what else and it takes up a lot of room so everything was feeling really squished and cluttered but now thankfully I think I've managed to find how to fit everything in I mean it's not exactly how I wanted my living room I think it feels quite cosy now and I'm I'm feeling quite happy with it and it's it's made me fall in love with the little house all over again so I'll show you when I get back what I've done but I've pro well I think when I edit this video I probably would have already shown you pictures of it but perhaps we're going to it again when I get home I don't know <laughs> I'm just on my way to do a bit of shopping now but this is the first time I've had a bit of chance to actually talk. So, anyway, hope your day is going lovely. It's Friday, so yeah, it's probably why I'm feeling really happy. Sun 
sunshine on a Friday. I mean, we didn't have much of a summer, have we? So this is a real treat. <laughs> It is such a beautiful morning, that sun. <laughs> oh, so I'm just following the river along now. Um, up to, or well, up through Minster Woods. And I got here for half past seven. I'm so glad I got here early. I've been in a really bad habit of going on walks around about lunchtime. But I highly recommend getting down here early, especially on a sunny day like today. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It's not been too many people. Bumped into a couple other walkers that are early, early risers, obviously. Yeah, I don't know if you can really see me. I think I, might, I think I might need to go across the stepping stones. I'm not entirely sure. Let's look at the map. Oh, I don't know where the map stopped. It's a lost GPS. Okay, so the map's not actually saying to go across those stepping stones. We've got to continue the footpath round. I kind of want to hop on them though. <laughs> I've changed my mind, it looks too slippery. <laughs> filming myself. I slipped, it's very muddy. So I might edit that in just for the laugh. I haven't filmed much this week at all. I've been so busy. It's what was it Sunday. I've just gone on a really nice walk in Boss Castle. I won't say much more about it but I'm gonna do a separate video. I had a lovely time. The weather is absolutely beautiful today. And um, it's half past ten now. I got here at half seven, finished my walk, and I'm going to go for a coffee now. But I've got the whole day. I love getting up early and coming out. Anyway. Jay, there's a woman over across the way from me in the car park. She's got a Tesla. I didn't know you can... I don't know you've got storage in the front of it. That's weird. Where's the engine? Is that in the boot? And they look like they're going to go on a hike. I've already done mine. <laughs> oh, do you know what? Getting up first thing in the morning. I got up at half past... Five. No, I got up at six. My alarm went off at half five. I pressed snooze. But I got up at six. Left the house at just after seven. Maybe about quarter past seven. And then got down here at half past seven. And there's something really satisfying about getting up early before everybody else <laughs> to start your day just makes you think am i better than everyone i'm not but you know in my mind i can pretend <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go for a coffee and then go home yeah uh, and i'm conscious i need to film a little bit more this week but anyway I'll talk to you when I get home <laughs> Thank you. 
By some sort of magic trick you're now in the future but really I forgot to finish the vlog it's now Wednesday I was doing my editing finishing it off to upload it and I realized I left you in Boss Castle and never brought you home again so I bet I thought I better jump on now quickly and just finish this week's video off it has been a really mishmash week we're just gonna see what we end up with. That's life, isn't it? It never goes to plan. So I thought I will finish off this vlog just showing you my front room. I, start yeah. I started off the video rearranging my front room. If you saw last week's one, I actually began it there. I started moving things and realized it was like half past nine at night and I thought I better quit. <clears throat> so, yeah it's looking a lot better i am a lot happier with it i'll try and put some footage in here of what it looked like before and just how squashed everything was feeling um i do live in a 200 year old cottage and the it's just really small there's nowhere to really put anything and when you've got two people that have a fair few things you know we all do living in this modern life that we do trying to find room for everything it's been really difficult and we got rid of a lot of things well i definitely got rid of a lot of things most stuff in here to be honest is actually matt he, lo he loves collecting things but we won't go into that anyway i'll show you footage of what we've done no, I'll show you footage before and let's have a look what it looks like now. I'm really pleased with it. As you can see now, the sofa is now against this wall at the back. I did mention I was going to put this initially over here and the TV here. But when I, I measured it all and it was fine. But when I actually put the TV there, I realised the sofa would be really close to the TV and I don't even know if you'd be able to put your feet down to be honest so the only way I was to be able to do it was to put the TV under the window in the end I really did not want to but I don't think it looks too bad I still got to tidy up the windowsill ignore all the plants on it at the moment <laughs> especially the one that looks like a stick it is alive we're just trying to grow it again so I need to sort that out, but anyway, move on from that. So this was going to be the only space that I could put the could put the TV. I really wanted to bring Matt's records in here because these were just sat in the hallway, blocking up 
access to under the stairs and they just look really nice I feel like they should have some pride of place in this living room so we've managed to bring those in and well pop them there he needs to get another I keep calling it a spinny fin it's a turntable <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure I annoy him by saying the spinny thing, but yeah, well, you know, it spins, doesn't it? And then frogs. I don't know if I've told you I have frogs yet, but yeah, I have frogs. I have two of them. That's a bit strange, strange pet. It was kind of a last minute decision obtaining frogs. So I don't know if I should go into this story right now. It was a... Sh don't know I don't know if I should go in the story right now it was a strange day I was at the garden centre looking at these frogs they're really cute I was talking to the people that work there about them and then we ended up putting deposits on these frogs come home and realized hold on a moment <laughs> we know nothing about frogs they're white tree frogs so I had to do loads of research within like a couple of weeks and make sure we had all their vivarium set up anyway they seem quite happy we've had them for nearly two years so i don't think we're doing any, i don't think we're doing too bad really they haven't died so i'd feel terrible if they died they don't do a lot to be fair they're quite boring when you look at videos on tiktok or youtube other people's frogs seem crazy but mine just tend to only come alive at night <laughs> you do hear them well you hear one of them you hear the male upstairs in bed croaking but yeah we went for a, a natural habitat we've got dirt in there we've got creepy crawlies we've got live plants they seem happy anyway this is not about frogs is it this is talking about my front room and then we've still got this unit here this needs sorting out a bit more but it's it it's home is there now but we managed to fit all the big things in i managed to sort the hallway out i've cluttered it again with a box you'll see why in a moment <laughs> so what i really like most of all is just how i can now just walk in i can walk everything just flows i can dance if i want to dance <laughs> whatever floats your boat i suppose i might even think about I was even thinking about doing a, uh, even about doing some exercise. YouTube's with the TV. I've got the room to do it now. Yeah, it just made so much more sense. So I really don't regret putting the TV under the window now because I think it looks quite nice. So I'll just show you <laughs> why I've got that big box in the hole. Now I don't know if I've made the best decision, but I thought. As we've only got one sofa, we needed another form of seating in here. But I don't know if it looks very nice. Anyway, I'll show you. <laughs> I got myself a rocking chair. Now, I've been worrying about getting old, especially coming up to 40 in a couple of months. So maybe, maybe this is part of that whole midlife crisis thing I might actually be having. I don't know, but yeah, I'm not sure if I like it because, don't, does, is it me, does, does it look like a, does it look like a hospital chair? I don't know, it just seems a bit square, doesn't it? I mean, it's very comfortable to sit in, but yeah, I don't know. I think I might get a throw for it and see if we can just make it look a bit homely. I don't know. What? Oh, oh. Hello? Hello? Do you like my hospital chair? no okay yeah we'll get a th we'll get a throw for it and see if we can make it a little bit more modern but at least we've got somewhere else to sit especially when people come around 
because this three seater sofa soon gets filled up even with just two people here I'm not sure if I should have gone for the dark wood but I thought it would match the fireplace but oh I don't know I don't know anyway I'm not going to overthink a chair it will do for now when it finian <laughs> 